Welcome to a pick a card reading like you've never experienced before. Hi, I'm Psychic Tana Newberry, and I have something very special prepared for you today. Today's pick a card reading will start by you picking a stack of cards. Choose one of the four stacks, check the timestamp below, and receive your timeless message. Today's cards are chosen from the Future Predictions Oracle Deck. To learn more, you can visit my website. Have you ever felt like you were so close to something? You could taste it. You could see it and you can feel it. The goal you've had has been in mind for some time now. Maybe it's somewhere you'd like to be, something you'd like to create, or even the person you want to become. And maybe there have been obstacles along the way and problems to solve. Either way, Spirit's message to you is that you are almost there. Don't let giving up stop you from something that's so close to being manifested. Spirit has been watching over you and guiding you each step of the way, and now it wants you to succeed, especially since you are so close to what you desire. Let this moment encourage your goals, your dreams, and your wishes. Spirit doesn't want you to give up. Keep applying what you've learned and what you know. And no doubt the reward is just a little further away, ready to be achieved. Don't stop. Continue. Have you ever heard of priming a pump? Keep at it. It means that sometimes some preemptive effort needs to be made before your operation is fully functional. Even then, to achieve a certain level of effectiveness, consistency must be applied. Don't throw in the towel right now. This is the moment you've been waiting for. I know it can be so disheartening when we work at something for a really long time, or we put a lot of effort forth just to find out we're not at the finish line yet. This may be time to reassess or adjust your strategy, but it's not time to quit. You are so close to your breakthrough. Persistence does not recognize failure and spirit knows your hard work will pay off. Your breakthrough is coming and you can count on it. Give it all you've got. Do the best you can. Remember, you can ask others for support and help when you get tired or weary because sometimes a helping hand is exactly what you need to present a new angle or solution, but keep your eye on the target. Push towards the final stages of manifestation. Everything will work out if you just keep at it. In these final moments before manifestation, take the time to reflect. Why do you care? Why do you want to become the person you want to become? Reflect on all of your decisions, your circumstances, 
but most of all, your abilities. Reflection is the key that unlocks your awareness of how the future is surely to unfold. Your answers are evident when you consider what you've already learned. Some decisions you've made hinder your future, but others have given it great advantage. It's a great time to meditate and use mindfulness in your observations. Doing so will push you forward and that is the direction you are meant to go. Take inventory of the people in your life as they make a great influence on you. Make sure everything you do with your energy and with your time leads you towards the future outcome you so desire. Learn from what hasn't worked. Benefit from knowing what does. Remember why this is so important to you. You are asking about something that is a heartfelt match between you and what you're meant to receive. Your heart is aligned. Your intentions are good. And then, partnered with the steps that you take, you create the when and the how as the outcome continues to unfold. Spirit encourages you. Continue being heartfelt about this intention to produce the absolute best manifestation of it. You love and feel passionate about this desire. Whether it's a desire for a romantic partner, a new home, a better career, remember it all unfolds perfectly with how this resonates deep in your soul. You need only to not lose sight of that. Spirit says, we love you. We care about your desires and are working on this future outcome to ensure happiness and fulfillment in your life. If more than one goal or intention resonates with you, it's not surprising. Vibrationally, the aspects of all that you desire are similar. Pay attention to the thoughts that you receive as you complete your manifestation. Don't overthink it. The messages are in your hunches. Promise me this. You won't give up. This is it. You have found your path. Now it's time to follow it and see where it leads. You've been searching for a really long time, feeling like you were never quite getting anywhere, but your search is over. Have you got a really good idea? Has a resource been presented to you? Has an opportunity been revealed? Pay attention to the synchronistic events that are occurring now as they are the way showers for your future. Your success is eminent as you follow this path. Focus on the projects, the people, and the directions that are readily available to you right now. 
And that's how you will know that you indeed are on the right path. Chances are you know you've found your way and you're excited and enthusiastic about your future. And why wouldn't you be? There is so much in store for you. And trust me, spirit is cheering you on. So, are you delaying on the guidance you're receiving this time? It's important that you don't. Because sometimes the opportunities to seize the day can pass us by. If we don't act when spirit says it's time to, if you feel like going for it, if you feel like taking that risk, put yourself out there. You've actually got this. But it's time we have a talk, spirit says. Yes, your desired outcome is inevitable, timely, happening all around you. But you do have to make sure you're serious. Sometimes it's as simple as saying yes, yes. And sometimes that final jump off the cliff is the mark of the successful journey. Sometimes what holds us back is self-imposed. If you're feeling like something is holding you back right now, it is self-imposed. It may be a perceived limitation or a miscalculation of your own assets or the opportunities, but make sure you pay close attention to all of the things that are screaming out to you that the time is now. If you want to control scenarios, I have a bit of advice for you. Let go. Let go. Spirit is with you as you decide that these obstacles will not stop you from crossing the finish line. So, ready, set, now. That's right, the time has come. You've been waiting for that sign or that perfect moment to take these final actions to share something, build something, create something, risk something, even just say something. Because once you do, everything is about to change. Even though it's hard to see the change on the horizon and know when the moment to commit is really present, Spirit wants you to know that all the bases are covered. Taking the leap is advised, so go for it. If you've been getting a hunch that it's time, it is time. This is your official green light from the universe saying that the unfolding path has been paved by your desires and your dreams leading you up to this point. It's time to get this show on the road. Don't hesitate. Take the final step. But just as one journey ends, another one begins. Once you cross the finish line and it's all happening, playing small or bringing that Luke warm game to the table is not going to cut it even if it's scary even if it's uncomfortable those who succeed do so because they put it all on the line go all in 
It may feel like jumping into the deep end, but instead of avoiding it, you should be diving head first. When it comes to manifesting the life of your dreams, what pool do you need to jump into? Dive deep in order to get that dream or that goal. Have you identified where you'd like this journey to take you? If not, start there. On the new journey, the first goal is under wrap, but make a list of everything you can do from this point on, big and small. Then cross off everything on the small list and do everything on the big list instead. Better yet, do it all. It's not time to think of yourself as meek or meager because you are not. It's time to recognize that you are a powerful being capable of creating the most awesome things in your life and also in the lives of others. Let crossing the first threshold teach you how you will arrive again and again. Hold no part of you back and don't forget to show big gratitude. Can we talk about something for a minute? The thing you want deep down in your heart and in your soul. It's not a guarantee. Nothing in this life is guaranteed. We make a plan before we get here of all the things we want to experience. But when we get here, we have good old free will. But the things we wanted have all the potential in the world. Even if you don't feel the most capable, you are a fast learner and we are all natural students. So what if I told you that what you wanted was possible and that even though it wasn't a guarantee, you have all the potential you need within you. You also have spirit cheering you on, rooting for you to make the right decisions and to take the right steps. Are you using the beautiful life you've been given as an opportunity to see the potential and move into greatness. I have really good news for you. You are limitless. Every situation based on your perspective, the meaning that you give to it, and the way you decide to enjoy it. The potential never stops. Potential by definition means that it is possible and likely if an amount of effort to set forth and obtain the desired outcome is met. The ball is forever in our courts, which shouldn't scare us it should inspire us. So, I want to ask you, are you gonna show up for this? One of the best ways to harness great potential is to allow yourself to feel the enthusiasm and the excitement as if the positive result has already occurred. It aligns with you deep, deep down in your soul and calls the outcome you desire closer and closer. So if anything is possible, 
what's your plan? Sometimes when desiring something, some of the solutions and the tactics are identified. It can be frustrating if the very next step or time frame is unclear. You might know what it is that you want and when you want it, but from where you stand, you're still wondering what to do next. If this is you and the space in between now and the moments you have what you want confuses you, then focus on the middle piece of the puzzle. Sometimes stepping stones are meant to be taken in order. Things occurring in order help the right things to be manifested in the first place. You wouldn't want to read a book, start at the beginning, skip all the good stuff in the middle just to read the ending. It just doesn't hit the same way. There are necessary moments in the middle of your journey and it's time to start looking forward to them as if they are some of the most important parts of any manifestation. It's not about having the reward at the end of the journey. We like to think that that is the moment of magic, but truly the moments of magic are when you become the person you're becoming in the process. Think of your goal as little goals, stepping stones, building blocks, the foundation that needs to be laid so that you can build a top of it. Work on the parts of the problem that are in front of you now. This part of your journey is sacred. And once you find the value in it, you will realize that change has been happening all along. Sometimes we think of change as the moment that one thing tips over and becomes another. But looking at it closer, it happens second by second. And sometimes change can be difficult, which is why a lot of people don't feel very comfortable when thinking about change. However, to grow and to expand, we must leave the comfortable and seek into the unknown. I promise you, spirit has a plan for you. If you've been praying for breakthroughs in your personal life, your professional life, your romantic life, just remember, big things happen one step at a time. Change happens one moment and one decision at a time. Spirit knows that within any change, your soul will rise as a champion because you grow through it. So try to see change as the catalyst for beautiful things to occur and harness the power of it. Have faith that the changes you make are good for your soul. And through this, your soul becomes closer and closer to the life you were designed to live. And if you had absolutely any doubt about it, you are so deserving. You as much as anyone else deserves good things, supportive people, and desired outcomes in your life. Now is the time to see yourself through the eyes of those who love and admire you. You are not only beautiful, but you are infinitely capable. Selling yourself short doesn't do you or anyone any good. Spirit wants you to stand in your power because from there, you can help and heal not only yourself, 
but the whole world. Don't be afraid to aspire for something great. Be willing to take on large moves. Have the courage to start something hard. You are not mediocre. If you want to see yourself on stage, see yourself on stage. If you want to see yourself making a difference, see yourself making a difference. If you want to see yourself financially abundant, see yourself as financially abundant. Save lives, climb mountains, be honest. You're capable of everything you put your heart and mind to and you are worthy. You are so deserving. It's time to be brave. Hello, are you there? Are you listening? Time is of the essence. Are you feeling stuck? When you feel stuck, it feels impossible to see the potential futures you so desire. But here's the thing. You are never without guidance. What have you been receiving? Sometimes the lack of a message is misinterpreted as no guidance at all. But those are the moments to take inventory of because there's a chance you're going the wrong direction. You might be ignoring or missing the signs. You might be asleep in your own life. It's time to move past the illusions and open your eyes. Acknowledge that if this message is for you, you just might be missing an opportunity. It might be an issue of non-committal approaches, avoidance. Do yourself a favor. Take yourself and your questions seriously. You need your strongest self If what you asked for is going to turn out the best it can, your strongest self is clever. You can make meaning out of any state that you're in. The good news is that once you realize a total paradigm shift is just what you need, then the desired outcomes you would like now have bloomed into new possible potentials. Chances are that deep down within you, however far and however quiet that voice is, you suspect you know what you need to do. It might not seem like the obvious answer. You may have desired a more burning bush type of indication. You might be holding back because it requires asking for help. But this wake up call is your moment. It's time to look at things differently. By changing your approach, new possible outcomes and futures literally manifest before your eyes. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Spirit is watching over you, cheering you on right this very moment. Try not to let fear or hesitation get the best of you because 
Time is not a guarantee. And with your heart and your desires on the line, time is also of the essence. We don't have forever. It's important that you dig deep to discover the actions that you're guided to now. From your new awakened state, the steps before you will start to become clear. If you need encouragement or support, look to others who are enthusiastic about your desires, whether they be for growth, for change, to find fulfillment. It's okay to second guess your decisions, but don't take too long. You've already taken time and spirit says the time is now. Whether you've waited for a moment or it's snuck up on you quickly, act now, take action, find your inspired state and from there you'll know what to do. There's so much beauty and abundance waiting for you on the other side of your wake-up call, your clarity, your actions, the way you approach your present circumstances implicate your future. So find your hunches, follow them. The future is waiting for you. It's time to dig deep. It might be harder right now than it's ever been your whole life, but you were not meant to be asleep. You were not meant to walk through this life small or timid. You were meant to find glory. You were meant to discover the future, the way you wanted to create it. You were meant to take initiative. You are meant to build and you weren't meant to run away. You definitely were not meant to give up. What if the future was not only everything you desired, but so much more? Don't stop digging for the diamond just to fall short before the reward. Your future is literally implicated. Wake up your heart. Wake up your soul. Wake up your wisdom. Wake up your intuition. What does it say to do? Hold the future in your heart, even if you don't know what it's going to look like. Hold it there and begin to make your way. The goal you have in mind will succeed. Hard work and diligence always pays off. No doubt you've hit a speed bump, a pothole in the road, but when you persevere now, you will be rewarded. Envision yourself being surrounded by people who acknowledge you and who have watched you succeed. Spirit is proud of you now. Spirit is proud of you always, but you are proud of you when you arrive at the destination, even if right now you're unsure about how to get there. You may already see in your mind a vision of where you want to go. If you do, celebrate it now. 
get yourself into the feeling of your destination. The steps will become clear, but be there now. Journey to the future, live the life, feel the emotions, see what you see, bring it into your body, bring it into your mind, bring it into your heart. Take a deep breath, have gratitude, and acknowledge the power and persistence of these moments, this part of the journey, once trivial, now have come to light. Don't have any regrets. Don't look back at this moment as the moment you gave up. Step into that future self and look back to this moment as your finest hour. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Your life and future is waiting. <laughs>